In 2012, the United States Supreme Court held that mandatory sentences of life without parole are unconstitutional when the offender is a juvenile. If granted, the offender will have a resentencing hearing. The United States had over 2,500 people sentenced to die in prison under the age of 18. Philadelphia was the most incarcerated of the 10 largest cities in the United States. Pennsylvania had more juvenile lifers than any country in the world. Justice reform starting as early as 2016 resulted in a 33% decrease in Philadelphia's correctional population. People are desperate. And if you can't feed yourself or your family, you find ways of, of doing that. And sometimes that means criminal activity. It didn't go good. Go good. I ended up getting found guilty of second degree murder. I went to prison in 2007 for selling crack cocaine. My brother Robert was arrested on his 16th birthday, convicted of a first degree murder and sentenced to life without any possibility of parole. When I became a survivor of an attempted homicide, it started when I was 16. So my issue sometimes with the juvenile lifers is Will that happen again? We try to be very, very careful to follow what the Supreme Court has required. Has there been a real change? It's not just the crime, it's all these other things. It's the life experience before the crime and it's rehabilitation after the crime. So David, you mentioned you, you were in prison for 37 years, right? Yeah. They label me as a convicted murderer. They label and who I am today, it kind of contradicts itself. As our society continues to evolve and grow, our social fabric, the ways communities interact within themselves and with each other, and even our laws, face constant change. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight years, ain't that enough? <laughs>